What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Tyra Simone, in the cut. And if you cannot tell by the title and or what you're seeing right now, I'm about to be doing a nail tutorial. Now, this is my first ever, so please excuse the weird angle. It looked way different when I was recording it, but y'all, you know, it's trial and error. So, yeah, as you can see, my nails are short and I don't really like the color that's on them because I feel like it looked kind of old, like for like older people. So, yeah, I wanted to change it. So as you can see right now, I'm just fouling the color off and it's just gel polish. So I'm just fouling that right on off. Now is a public announcement, y'all. I am not a nail tech. So these are just the way I do my nails. So everything you see in this video, I don't know if this is like the proper way you do it or whatever, but this is just how I'm going to do it. So yeah, I just fast forward to the part where I'm done fouling off the color because I figured it would be boring to watch me do that. But yeah, anyways, after you foul off all the... um color you want to make sure that you round your nails out because the tips that i'm about to use are round and so it fits better on this nail shape versus the square shape that it had before also when you're fouling you want to make sure you use like the hardest side of the foul or the most rough side because it'll give your nails like like ridges so that the glue can hold on to now these specific tips have a curve in it which i'm not too fond of but i'm using these because um i i'm almost out of my straight ones and i didn't want to like you know use them for this because i know these nails not meant to be like you know my best set but these tips are from dollar tree so you know if you want you like some good tips you can get them from dollar tree it come with like 200 pieces which is really good because like you can use them over the ones i just don't like the curve but they do have a nice shape though so I do recommend them. They are pretty good. Now, you can also get Kiss ones, but those are about the same thing. So, these are a better buy, in my opinion. So, this is what the nails look like. And, you know, they decent. But you're going to see me clip like a millimeter off. And the only reason I do this is because, for some reason, the tips themselves kind of curve at the top. And I don't really like that. I kind of want a straight edge. So, I just clip them and it just saved me some time with using the foul. Now, once I get them like to the length I want them or whatever, I'm going to foul them. Now, the shape that I'm going for is kind of like ballerina coffin type shape. So, it does take me a minute, y'all, because it is way different from doing it on somebody else when you're doing it like to yourself. Right here, I'm just taking my e foul and I'm like, you know, going over the fouling job that I did. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of fouling over the top where I glued it down just to like kind of give it a seamless look. So that way, when you apply the gel, it'll be like smooth and it won't be so difficult. Now, also, you also want to go over the top of the tip just to again make it gritty so that the gel can stick and like it won't be lifting up and stuff because trust me it's a headache and you don't want that so always make sure you file down the tip as well is your nail bed but in this case over the nail that i already had so now i'm ready to put the poly gel on and y'all this brand is called wakanya um i like this one this is a really good one for beginners because it's sturdy and it doesn't run all over the place but yeah, this is like a natural nudish pink color. Now, I'm mixing this together with one other color, which is this um, nude by Morovan. And y'all, Morovan is a little bit, it's kind of runny. So, I don't recommend it, like that particular one for beginners. But the other one I do. And the only reason I'm mixing them together is because I feel like I didn't have enough of either one. So, I figured if I mix them, then I have enough. Because I don't want to have to have like two different colors on my nails because that would have been kind of weird so yeah i'm mixing them and i'm trying to get like this new color so you're gonna see me mix it with a gel polish that's kind of more brown just to see you know the type of color that i can get now when it comes to mixing colors you have to use a gel polish with poly gel or you can use like a, a pigmented powder 
But make sure it's not like an acrylic powder because it won't like, like it won't work well under the UV light. So be careful when you get to mixing colors. So now I'm ready to apply the poly gel. Now, whenever you get like a poly gel set, it usually comes with a slip solution. But instead of slip solution, you can always use alcohol, which I typically always use. So I'm just using some alcohol and I filled a little cap up. Now, um, to do like to put the poly gel on my nail, I'm using like the end of my brush, which came with the Wakanya set. Most poly gel sets will come with a brush that's like two-sided. And one end will be like a little spatula and the other end will be the brush. As you can see, this is what the brush looks like. And I really do like this brush. That's why it's raggedy because I use this one all the time. But, you know, it never fails me. So, yeah. And then again, y'all, I'm sorry for the angle. Like, I really wasn't. It's hard to pay attention to like what the camera can see and what I can see. So that's why you can like barely see. What I'm doing, but what you do is you just put a ball on your nail and then you just move the um gel towards your uh, cuticle first. And once I get it to my cuticle, I make sure it's you know spread out on the sides and then I just bring the gel upward. And the thing about this, y'all, this is why I like poly gel so much versus acrylic because it's movable. So again, if you're not like a nail tech and you don't know how to do acrylic like that, because that is me, then I just use this poly gel because it doesn't dry unless you put it under the UV light. So yeah, I just move it up and I do it like one coat at a time. So as you can see, this coat is kind of thin, but I'm going to put another coat on top of it just to make sure that, you know, it's laying flat and it's not too bumpy because the less bumpy it is, the less fouling you have to do and you're going to see how fouling can be like exhausting and it can take a long time. So always just pay attention to what you're doing and be careful. So this is what my nails look like after I put the um, poly gel on there and after fouling. So this is what I got them to look like, y'all. It took me a while to foul, but it came out not bad. Now, sorry for the change in lighting. Um, I did this over the span of two days, so yeah, it was kind of you know up and down, but. Right now, I'm just putting a top coat on the top of the nails. And usually, I would do like a base coat. But because I wanted to do like a marble, like a marble type look, I'm going over it with a top coat. And the brand of top coat that I'm using is called Modelonis. I did not show it. But, y'all, it's the best 
it is the best top coat. It's really the best poly gel too, cause like, the, but they're just expensive though. So that's the only reason why I don't buy their poly gel like that. But their top coat and their base coat is like A1. So if you want a good top coat, try them. And it's it's affordable too. Like it was like $6 for both of them like together. So yeah. Now as you can see, after I painted over it with the top coat, I didn't let the top coat dry under the UV light. I just put like some little white brushes over the top and I'm just doing it lightly because you don't want to go overboard with the white because it didn't mess up the whole marble look now i'm also taking some um glitter and just doing a couple of glitter strokes too and y'all will see how it comes out when i get done so yeah i guess i was not recording when i showed you how i did the marble look but basically what you do is you just take your spatula and you just like mix the colors around on your nails why it's wet and then you cure it with the lamp now i did add some little um stickers on there some little designer stickers that i got from ebay and i'll try to link those too so everything should be in the description i like the way they came out but i feel like they could have been better but you know they decent they better than what they were before so yeah if y'all enjoy please let me know if y'all want me to do like more nail videos because Sometimes my nails become now really like five. So yeah, just let me know. And I hope y'all enjoy. Be sure to pop that like button, tap that bell, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on all social media links down below. And I'll see y'all in the next one.